Thank you for taking a moment to watch this video. We need your help to locate and reunite this bird with its family. Some of the things that you can do to help would be to share this video, uh, share the flyer on every social media platform that you have access to. We'll have a download of this in the comments. Hello everybody, my name is Rico. My uh, baby, kal -El. he has a little sister named Cara and uh, we came all the way from Sacramento to meet up with friends here to free fly. They are, uh, Cara uh, is, uh, has gone, flew away. I've had these guys for a long time since they were babies, hand fed them, they've been together, uh, siblings. Um, and you free fly every day, don't you, Rico? Yes, yes. Yes, yeah, so they're strong flyers. They're strong flyers. Just trying to see if we can get you guys' help to uh, get them reunited. Um, this guy's been so lost without this little uh, sibling. Um, I'm trying to reach out to you to get, get to uh, anybody to help us out. Um, we, I don't even know what to do. I'm, I feel so uh, hopeless. Hi, I'm Grace Turner, and um, I host, along with fellow Free Flyers, an annual Free Flight event. This is our second one this year, and we've decided to have our event at the Valley of Fire in the state of Nevada. Um, on Monday, April 8th, Solar Eclipse Day, we had some of our best flyers out in the air and the wind had picked up very quickly. Robust, strong, hard, and um, flew our birds, blown them over a ridge. Um, and so we're on a search and rescue since Monday the 8th. Uh, we've assembled ourselves um, in a group, very organized. We have GPS on the birds. We've recovered five birds out of six. We are looking for one more. Her name is Kara. She is a green wing, and we need to take her back home with us. Um, her battery on her GPS is now run down. Um, so we're going to look to local residents, visitors alike, to have their eyes to the sky. We are blasted all over social media. We've passed out hundreds of flyers, and we will continue to do so in this area. Um, we want you to help pass this video around to anyone that you know in the state of Nevada, Las Vegas, Lake Mead, Overton, Mopa Valley, any cities around the Valley of Fire State Park, Henderson, all over, everywhere. Um, send it to your friends, family, coworkers. We need your help to make this go viral. Um, we're hoping that you, know, you will find some information. Please share that back up with us so we can follow up. I've been central point of contact for the group. We've been on foot. This team has hiked and traveled ridges and steep mountains and rock formations in ravines and valleys and we're on the search. But we're going to need your help now. So please reach out if you get any kind of tip. 415-378 3957. Again, that number is 415-378-3957. My name is Grace and any tip, please call. Okay, so I'm doing a recap of uh, the areas that we're working in and kind of give you an idea of where this, still missing one more bird. So this area here is uh, Arch Rock Campground. This is where we stayed. This is so this was the base camp from where the birds flew off of. And in this area, the valley is pretty pretty wide and vast, but the hills and the mountains behind are extensive. All this gray area that you're looking at, that is all rocky high mountains and valleys and there are no trails in here it's completely inaccessible so from our group campsite um, to over here on this side of the hill a couple of our guys climbed in over the hill here and in, this is the site that 
we ended up uh, actually recovering three of the birds. Two were recovered uh, the uh, early in the day, and then uh, the last the there was a sighting of the third bird, and we went back the next morning and and recovered that third bird. Um, the other birds were recovered. Um, one had uh, gone over here to this Echo Bay area. That was Jazz. We recovered him, and the MacGyver was covered up here at this um, uh, campground. The oh, sorry about that. The uh, Arch Campground. So five birds recovered. The one that is still missing, we uh, had a um, ping location on the telemetry right here in this area. Uh, we followed up on that and we tracked that same ping down through this valley where eventually the bird was pinged here up on this very high shelf uh, cliff, totally inaccessible. Uh, There's no way to get up there into it. We got down to the base and around it and were able to hike into some of these areas, but it is a very, very big different in uh, elevation and sheer rock faces. There's just no way to get up into that area. So that was where we had last gotten any information on where she was. And from that area, the winds were blowing towards a uh, Lake Mead area. So very likely because of the way that the land runs, this canyon area, she likely could come down through this canyon and then down through this um, uh, wash area and come out in this area in these um, water inlets that are in what they call the narrows. So she could have come down that direction. She also could have come down in this direction into Rotary Cove. Um, there's not a lot of activity in there right now. Currently, we have relocated our base camp here to Calville Bay, and we figure that if there's any uh, boats coming and going, they might have a sighting of her if she has come in on this lake side. So um, that's, that's a possibility. The thing that you, you can't tell and you don't really understand is these, this mountain area are incredibly high peaks and uh, very difficult for her to actually go over. This peak in this area is very, very high. There is, it's very unlikely she could have gone over the top of that. So unless she came through the valley areas and ran along the, with, with the topography down, down the lake, that's one, one thought that we have. The other thought is now, today, our winds change direction. And so instead of blowing her down towards the river, if she was still up on this location, um, on the ridge and in this area, she might end up back up here in this valley. Um, so we have people back up in that valley area. Again, today we have posters and information out on the waterway. Uh, this bird has got to come down somewhere to somebody in order to be recovered. There's no way we can hike up or get into this area. It is inaccessible. Um, so many people have said, well, just, you know, hike up in through this back way. You have to understand this is, this is not accessible. It is not hikeable. The trails that we were able to get into, as close as we were able to get, was about a mile away from that location. So, um... We, we really feel like we, she needs to come down in order for us to be able to recover her. We don't know that she's still there. That um, last, that marker of that location, our last opportunity um, to get that information came to us on um, Wednesday at about 5.30 p.m. And that was the last ping that we received on her location. So this is her last known location. That is now, that was Wednesday. Today is now Friday. That was Wednesday evening, uh, five o'clock sunset. Would, she would have uh, probably hunkered down um, if she hadn't moved from that area. And so she, we've had all day Thursday where we were not able to get any information. There was no ping. There was no uh, way to to hone in on her location and we have had no sightings um, from anybody in the area locally so yes yeah, she could go back up to the echo bay area that is a possibility not likely but 
winds blowing that direction, that could happen, and there is a population of people in the Echo Bay area. All this other area, all this this is is wilderness. There is nobody that lives here. There's people that come through camping, um, and this is a lot of this is BML, BLM lands. So uh, it's not like it's not likely that she'll come down and find humans in this area. Um, she might find humans stopping at some of these trailheads, but these are not heavily traveled areas. The, the, we saw nobody hiking any of these trails. It's not like when we get into our, our cities and, and, and areas that are close where people do a lot of hiking. It's just not that way. People are not out here. So again, um, that's what we know right now and what we, we hope is that she comes down to us, somebody picks her up, and at least she's at least giving the care that she needs. Ways that you can help is to watch the video, share the video, share the posters, comment in the sections. Um, we need boots on the ground. Anybody who's here in the area, if you're a hiker or a mountain biker, or if you have an off-road vehicle, a 4x4, four four, we have a vast area to cover, and we really need help. We need eyes in the sky, people out on the lake uh, in your boats with your binoculars. If we could just get a sighting on this bird, if we can get a sighting on this bird, we know we can track it and bring it home safe. If you happen to be the person who finds this bird, it's really important that we get this bird to a vet as soon as possible. She will need to be hydrated, and all of that needs to be done very carefully. She'll need food, but it needs to be given gradually. So we have protocols in place of what to do once this bird is retrieved. So please, if you are the one to retrieve this bird, Please, if you can't get a hold of us, get it to a vet care immediately and contact us at the same time. We appreciate the community stepping up. We had six birds went missing, five birds are recovered, and we really would like to bring Kara home right away. Thank you for your help and for your support. Uh, protocols for all of our recovery efforts can be found at the website 911 Parrot Alert. They are a great partner in recovering uh, birds across the country and the world. Thanks all and, and join us from this. Um, join us to give a happy ending to reuniting this bird with her family.